Hi, and welcome to our video on how to use scripted macros with our free plugin PowerScripts for Confluence, available on the Atlassian Marketplace. In this video, we'll be covering all four types of scripted macros. Let's get started. Start by opening up a page where you would like to insert a SIL macro. Click the plus sign, navigate to other macros, and search for SIL macros. Here, you can see four different types of macros. We have the script macro, which enables you to display the execution result of a script, the table script macro, which enables you to display data that is generated by a SIL script in the form of a table, great for reporting, the condition script macro, which enables you to display or hide certain content depending on the execution result of a certain script, and the inline script macro, which enables you to write SIL code inline on a Confluence page instead of going through the SIL manager. The SIL script macro is a common macro that you will use to run SIL scripts in PowerScripts for Confluence. Once you have written and saved your script in the SIL manager, for example, here we have written a script to get the properties of a page, insert the file name into the SIL script macro, hit save, save the page and hit refresh. This will trigger the script to be run. As you can see, this has pulled all the page properties we were querying onto the page. The next macro we are looking at is the inline script macro. This is useful to try out ideas quickly without going through the SIL manager, but it's not recommended for production ready scripts because the SIL code is not saved in the SIL manager and may end up being scattered around many different Confluence pages, which is hard to maintain. Insert an inline macro as shown. Then, paste the code you want to use. After hitting save, the script will run. The next macro we are looking at is the table macro. In the SIL manager, you can write a script to query the sort of data that you want displayed in a table in Confluence. Once the script is saved, insert the file into the table macro and after saving it, the table will appear on the page. The last macro we are looking at is the conditions macro, which will allow you to display or hide content depending on whether a condition is met. In this example, we have written a script to see if a page has child pages or not. Our script says that if the page has descendants to display the message, this content will be hidden if the conditions in the script are not met. We are now inserting the condition script into the condition script macro. After pressing save and running the script, you can see that the text is showing up so the condition has been met. To check the condition macro is working, let's remove the descendant pages. When we return to the page, notice that since the condition has not been met, the content is hidden. We hope you found this video useful. Be sure to check out our other videos and documentation for more help on specific use cases. Say goodbye to pesky manual Confluence administration thanks to PowerScripts for Confluence. Download it free today from the Atlassian Marketplace.